Hey you guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, this is Baydad, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk about the DAT and especially the reading comprehension because that section, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat weird, right? Especially if English isn't your first language, which obviously isn't for me, right? Um, I had to write the DAT three times and I got 17 on the first two, uh, first two times on my reading comprehension and I got a 19. In the last one, and I hopefully that's that's an that's an that's a mark that will meet the cutoffs. Um, in this video, I just want to share some tips and tricks uh, that I think is useful for you guys, and you can kind of take advantage. And hopefully, you don't have to write the DAT three times. Let's get into it. Uh, so uh, for the first time that I wrote the DAT, I I I, I went through the passage and I read it. Uh, like a like a like a like a lecture note and with a with a like a fully comprehension of what was going on and i think that's that's a definitely mistake that you should avoid by all costs because the questions in a dat as i'm sure you're aware of it uh, the questions are very specific it's, except a couple of questions like for example if you have 17 questions 15 of them are uh, 14 15 of them are very specific a specific question uh, that you can find uh, in the passage itself uh, so reading with a fully like reading with a full comprehension is definitely just a waste of time and the test is not designed for you uh, to you know fully comprehend the test is being set up such that you can just get the important parts get the get the message get the inf important information and then tackle the questions or someone like that so that was a mistake that you should avoid uh for my second time i read the questions first which is you know which is i think is still better but really my mistake was that i i i just spent too much time on every passage uh, because I was just thinking to myself, if I could get a perfect mark in the first two passages and just purely guess, or at least, you know, out of like 17 questions, like guess, I don't know, seven of them, I could get a get a, get a good, good mark. But what really wound up happening was that I, I, I was left for like five minutes of time and like a whole patch, passage to go, uh, to go and, and read and tackle the questions. And as you can guess by now that's just that's a predicament that's not a good situation to wind up for anyone so you know at that point what are you gonna do you read the passage you run out of time you read the questions you had you haven't read the passage to even answer the answer the answer the question so that's not that's not really desirable by any means in a third time however I started, and this is what worked. It, throughout my time of studying, like up until like the week before uh, the test itself, I um, I was just doing the search and destroy method, which is an alright method, uh, and you know, try it out, see if it if it's uh, if it works for you. I mean, it worked for a lot of people. I think for ninety percent of people, and that was really a step up. So you read the questions first, you understand. Like for example, okay, out of seventeen questions, fifteen of them are just they want the specific information. You see, you see that you know what information to look for in a passage, and then you go read the passage and tackle the questions. But you know, I, I, that was that was a step up. But what final really, you know, what, what really made a difference for me, I, and I changed my strategy to this in the, just the week before the uh, before the test, and that was I read the I read the passage first, but I. I uh, I had a I had a lookout uh, for the time, so I was I was very careful. If you're writing a Canadian one, you have like 17 minutes. I was really careful uh, to finish everything, all the questions and answers in 17 minutes. If you're writing an American one, you're lucky you got 20. So um, so basically, you read the passage, especially for the first paragraphs. You read it with a good understanding and comprehensions, but you really gotta push yourself, especially if you're a slow reader like myself. You really gotta push yourself through the passage. And usually, what happens is that you read the, like a couple of first couple of paragraphs, I don't know, four or five paragraphs with great comprehension, but as you go on, you just tap into more scheming the passage for specific words. And just getting a good understanding of what everything is located in a passage and you just make a mental flag or mental mark 
of of what was being talked about at like middle of a passage at the end of a passage because you can see the questions and come back and quickly answer them and when it comes to answering the question itself uh if you see a question that you're like 90 percent sure what or even like 80 percent sure what the answer is just pick the pick the one that really makes sense and you think is a correct answer and move on there are some tricky questions but nine out of ten they're not tricky questions so uh, and you really don't have enough time i mean maybe you're just a very fast reader i mean good for you stop watching this video and just move on watch something else and waste your time no i'm just kidding uh, like if you're like a fast reader that's not an issue for you but if you're a slow reader and you're struggling just pick something because it's really a waste of time it's gonna uh it's gonna it's gonna take like a 30 seconds to a minute to just go back to the past and check the answers that you would 90% uh, that you had 90% chance of getting the answer in the first place so and that was it and also uh, I had I had a pass I had a I had a passage about bridges and I am by no means an engineer and I have no clue of different types of bridges so I was I was about to like waste time on that passage but I uh, saw my watch and I saw I don't have really that much time left for the next one. I just randomly picked the last four or five questions and I moved on to the uh, moved on to the next passage. And I think that really saved my mark. If I was just going back and forth with that uh, with the questions on that passage, maybe 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 I could get like a one or two questions. But then I would just miss the whole whole. Uh, missed another passage and i think that's that's really the downside not the downside but that's that's a reality of reading comprehensions it's really a times game i mean and i know it's very difficult to just move past a question because especially if you're in university you just you just want to answer every single question just make sure your answer is correct but you know that's the reality of this game you just have to pick the one that makes sense and move on and never spend so much time again if you're canadian never spend more than like 70 minutes or 17 minutes or 20 minutes at max for one passage just move on choose something and be okay with it